in Dodger Stadium. Yashel Puig been involved with a lot so far this season, but nothing like this. Gets in the face by Ian Kennedy. Well, this unintentional, trying to come up and in where they had some success his first couple of bats. But a very scary situation, very close to really shattering his face. Fortunately, it just glanced him a little bit. He was able to stay in the ball. And he's not any old Dodger. He's the best Dodger right now, helping his team win ball game. Setting a record for the merchandise he sold through four days. His jersey in his face. Well, Zach Reagan gets Miguel Montero then, drills a catcher in the back, and the bench is empty but lightly. No issue with that. That's just sticking up for your best player at the time. Montero in that situation should just go to first base. It's in the middle of the back. It should be over. Keep but, it moving. But this is the tipping point in your guys' estimation, Ian County. Then it hit Zach Greinke way up around the head. Absolutely. Get on top of the baseball. I don't like the fact that he hits him right there, but if you're going to, make sure it's got some downward angle. You go up around the shoulder, around the head, you risk a guy's career, and that's why this is happening right now in the field. So five players and coaches will be ejected. This is not one of your mild men or bench clearing brawls. These guys are actually throwing haymakers. Uh, you see Turner Ward, the coach, here, being almost thrown the the belt buckle, if you will, although both of you have to leave before he can get tossed in his Royal Rumble. But Kirk Gibson was also ejected along with the Indian. We saw those guys both immediately tossed as soon as Breaking was hit. Yasiel Puig is also involved in number 66. He was ejected along with Mark McGuire, who, Aaron, you have never seen this hot of a baseball field. No, usually a very mild manner. The look on his face, he was livid. And understandably now, there are some angry emotions on both sides of this. This is something that might not be over after something like this. One little small dust up between these two teams now going forward could incite another issue like this. This was pretty ugly in L.A. Dodgers are going to be real testy with the Padres for the rest of the season.